Welcome, sir, to 3rd Battalion, Bodica's Boys, 2nd British Army. During this training exercise, you'll familiarize yourself with the British Army of opposing fronts and its command structure. We will cover infantry deployment, lieutenants, mobile command trucks, and defensive emplacements. 3rd Battalion has just moved into the area. We need to move out and capture additional territory. This is an infantry section, the basic infantry squad of the British Army. Left-click on your infantry section to select it. Now, right-click on the indicated position to order your squad to move there. Notice how your squad moves. While moving in friendly territory, all British squads move using their assault stance. The infantry section is now entering neutral territory. Notice the change in stance. When moving in neutral or enemy territory, all squads adopt a patrolling stance. They move more cautiously, sacrificing speed for protection. Let's help them out by deploying a lieutenant. Left-click on your command truck to select it. Left-click on the flashing button on... Lieutenants are the basic officers of the British. They are critical to the success of your army. Excellent. Your lieutenant is ready. Select your lieutenant. Go ahead, sir. Move your Whenever a lieutenant is near infantry, his presence provides discipline to all nearby soldiers. On your feet, gents. Good. The star over your infantry shows that a lieutenant is nearby. This grants them combat and veterancy bonuses, so it's best to keep the lieutenants close. Since the lieutenant is so critical to the success of your infantry, it is important for him to maintain command range. Left-click on the flashing button to order your lieutenant to follow an infantry section. Now, left-click on the indicated infantry section. Yes, sir. Good. Notice the symbol above the lieutenant, indicating that he is now following the infantry section. Select your infantry section. Now, let's order the infantry section to capture that munitions point. Notice that your infantry are moving much more quickly with the lieutenant nearby. Watch out! Incoming enemies! Excellent work. Enemy patrol defeated. Your infantry might have had a tough fight. Good thing the lieutenant was there to keep them in line. Proceed with capturing the sector. Proceed with capturing the sector. Good. This sector is now under your control. Even though we have captured the munitions point, it is not secure. Unsecured points provide less resources. Let's secure that munitions point now. The British secure territory sectors differently than other armies. They use their mobile command trucks. Command trucks are the backbone of the British Army because they can be deployed anywhere on the battlefield. They allow the British to call in reinforcements where they are needed. More importantly, once deployed, command trucks also secure territory sectors. Select your command truck. We're ready to run. Deploy this command truck to the munitions sector that you just captured. Left click on the flashing button to mobilize your command truck. Listen up, chaps. We're packing up to move command. Good. Command truck is mobile. Look at the minimap. All your territory is flashing. Whenever your headquarters command truck is mobile, your controlled territory will not be in supply. Sectors that are not in supply do not generate resources. Order your command truck to the munitions sector by right-clicking near the indicated position. There are many reasons to move your command truck. It grants resource bonuses to the sectors it occupies. It can deploy units closer to the front line or relocate if the enemy is attacking. The command truck is quite vulnerable while moving, so guard it carefully. Now that the HQ is within the munitions sector, we'll need to deploy it to secure the territory. Left-click on the flashing button to set up your command truck. Left-click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin setting up there. 
HQ command truck moving out. We have our orders, lads. We're setting up mobile HQ on this position. Excellent. You have successfully deployed your command truck. Notice that the territory has stopped flashing. Your territory is now back in supply. Your munitions resource rate has improved dramatically as well. To build a machine gun emplacement, select your infantry section now. Listen. Click on the flashing button to access your defensive structure construction options. Left click on the machine gun emplacement button. Position the emplacement by left clicking on the indicated location. Finally, set the facing of the MG emplacement to cover the northern approach. Left click once more to stop. Okay, stop standing around, we don't have all day. Excellent. British infantry can also build structures like mortar pits or casualty clearing stations. The enemy has discovered our location. Stand to. An MG emplacement is an excellent defense against attacking infantry. NCOs reporting they have destroyed the German army. Good. Enemy infantry neutralized. To provide additional protection for our troops, let's build a slit trench. Click on the flashing button to access your defensive structure construction options. Left click on the flashing slit trench button. Left click on the indicated location to place the slit trench there. Set the facing of the slit trench. Break Unique to the trench. British, slit trenches are defensive structures that infantry can garrison for additional protection from enemy fire. Good. Notice that it is unoccupied after construction is complete. An unoccupied slit trench can be garrisoned by anyone, even the enemy. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. Get down. Incoming mortar. That mortar is wreaking havoc on our infantry. Order your infantry to... Good job. Trenches provide extra protection against artillery. Let's take out that mortar. Our ground forces are unable to attack that mortar. We'll need to use a company commander ability from the Royal Commanders to attack it. You have been granted access to glider-borne commandos. Gliders are excellent for attacking positions behind the enemy's front line. To request a glider, left-click on the glider button. Now left-click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Left-click again to target the desired direction you would like the glider to land. Commandos reporting for duty. Order your commandos to take out that mortar. Remember your tactical training. Now you know about some of the unique aspects of the British. You learned about the lieutenants and infantry, command trucks, and how to build emplacements. This concludes this training exercise, sir. Third battalion awaits.